Was there something sexual in the dismemberment of the bodies for you? As time went on, uh, yes, I, I did get a, there was a sexual part, part to that. Uh, I started saving the, the skeletons and preserving other parts. And uh, one thing led to another. It took, it took more and more uh, deviant type behaviors to satisfy uh, my urges. And so it just uh, spiraled out of control. I'm too drunk to dig this grave. I've been drinking for 17 days. I'm living the American dream A dead body in a bottle of bean The cops are hot on my trail I don't have any money for bail And I've got everything that I need A dead body in a bottle of bean And I'm three feet down I got three left to go and I'm hell bound on the first train to Mexico as the sun starts to rise now I'm covered in flies I've got to get this dirt off of me dead body in a bottle of bean and I'm three feet down and I got three left to go then I'm heel bound on the first train to Mexico I'm here in the nick of time I'll forever be free A dead body in a bottle of bean A dead body in a bottle of bean A dead body in a bottle Inside Dahmer's apartment, the bodies began to pile up, so he bought a 57-gallon drum and filled it with a powerful acid to dissolve the dismembered limbs and torsos. After weeks in the acid, the remains of Dahmer's would-be lovers became sludge which he flushed down the toilet or the bathtub drain. For others, Jeffrey boiled the skin off their bones on the stove. A sweet, bitter odor of death began to infest the building, and many tenants traced the smells straight to Dahmer's door. It's awful funny, whatever Jeff was cooking, Jeff never bought no groceries. Why the cannibalism? That was, that was another step. Uh, it, it made me feel like they were a permanent part of me. Besides, besides the just mere curiosity of what it would be like, it made them feel that they were a part of me, and it, it gave me a, a sexual uh, uh, satisfaction to do that. <laughs> 